So last session, just we'll discuss while loop, right? Yes, Suresh. So why as part of the while, uh, first initialization, while condition checking, if condition is true, uh, business logic get executed and then increment or decrement increment or decrement right so here first initialize the variable value and then check condition suppose condition is true then while loop get executed suppose condition is false then uh, while loop get terminated right Yes or no? Yes. So, okay. So, can you try some more programs today? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Reverse of given number. Huh? Reverse of given number. So, reverse of given number, nothing but. So, I will give input 1, 5, any, any number. So, output is huh? 3, 5, 1. La three five one. Yeah. Any questions? Anyone? Any idea? Yeah, Suresh, I wrote yeah. uh, for this. Just we take the uh, uh, three variables in A, B, C, and for that uh, A equal to one, B equal to five, and C equal mm -hmm. to three. Next, mm -hmm. I took another variable like a temp. Int temp mm -hmm. equals to zero. Then. Mm -hmm. I initialize temp equals to A and A mm -hmm. equals to C. Uh, mm -hmm. B equals to same number means, so B equals to B. And C equals to again that temp. Then at last I ask you to print that one, those values mm -hmm. A, B, C. Mm -hmm. I wrote mm -hmm. it that way. Okay, anyone? Anyone tried? No? If no, please let me know, we'll, I will start explaining. Yeah, okay, sure, sure. Okay. Can I explain? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. So observe here. So here, driver. So, yeah. Any questions up to this? No questions, right? Just to save it. That's it. Any questions? Any questions? Hello? No. Uh, no. No. Now, suppose I will take number as uh, 153. So, general, how to get, so reverse nothing but getting, so this is one's place, tens place, and then 100 place, right? One yes. into 10. Yes or no? Every number multiplied by 10. One's place, yes. tens place, 100 place, right? Yes or no? Yes. So, you can divisible by 10. So, observe here, I will take reminder as zero. So, here, any initialization required here? Any initialization? Where we can start? No initialization required, right? So just we'll check positive number or not. For positive number only, we'll reverse the data, right? Yes or no? Now here, observe. Reminder, what a reminder equal to n mod less by 10. So what we'll get? One by last digit, we'll get it. Clear? Hello. In this, whenever divisible by 10, last digit, and then 5, and then 1, like this. Once last digit is available, again, with the same number, you can multiply it. Initially, I will take reverse as 0 or something. So here, initially, reverse equal to huh, 0 or 1. Anything is fine. Or Huh. You will take zero. Any questions up to this? This one, any questions? 
no questions right whatever no. remainder coming reverse equal to reverse plus otherwise reverse into again reverse into 10 whatever divisible by 10 same again into 10 one's place 100 tens place 100 place and then what the next number in order to find out next number you can use by that's it now observe so here 153 number greater than zero condition for false true true so come here first line please observe here 153 ah. so divisible by 10 right ah. 10 15 yes. how much 150 150 Ah, three. In this case, here you are using what? Modulus. Modulus, nothing but this is the reminder, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Modulus, nothing but reminder, this one, right? Yes or no? Yes. By nothing but this one. Any questions up to this? Now, what is the three, right? Ha. Huh. Now, next one, please observe. Rev equal to rev plus. Initially, what is the rev value? Zero. Zero, zero. zero plus. Sorry. Zero plus. Ha. Huh. Sorry, yes. sorry. Sorry, I, I wrote wrong. Yes. Reverse plus. Reminder. Yeah, sorry for that. Yeah, reverse plus. What is the reminder? Three, right? Three, Three into ten? Thirty. Thirty. Thirty plus zero? Thirty. Thirty. So now, now reverse contain thirty. Uh, next one. What is the next number? Huh. N equal N by 10. What is the next number? What is the next number? 15. This one. Whenever observe, buy nothing but whatever year contain. That is considered as yeah. N, right? Yes or no? Yes. Now, 15 greater than 0? True. True. Again. Huh. Second one is what? 10 one 10 so here what is the reminder five. 5 so now here what is the reminder in this case 5 5, five. come to next line Re reverse initially what is the reverse 30 right 30. 30 30 plus reminder is what 5 5 into 10 50 50, 50. total 80. 80 80 now clear hello yeah. Any questions? No, no. What is the next number? 8. What is the next? N equal N by 10. What is the next one? 1, right? 1. Yeah, 1 greater than 0? True. True. Again, come here. 1, huh? 10 zeros, right? 0, huh? Remainder is what? One. One. Come here. What is the reverse? Eighty. Eighty. Huh. Eighty plus. Now, huh. Eighty plus eighty into ten. Ten. Ninety. I think wrong, right? Reverse yes, of number equal to three. Logic is not correct. Wait, 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 wait. Now, where we can run one minute. So, initially, revic remainder equal to OK, we'll get it after this. One minute. Remainder equal to remainder into 10. OK, we'll get it reminder plus reverse. Previously, initially, we'll take reverse to zero. So, what the remainder? Hmm. So, reminder here. Any questions from your side? Logic. Huh? Any questions? Any logic corrections? Hello? Here, here we have to change only the numbers in the ones and the hundreds place. The number in the tens place must be same. Sorry? Uh, here, the number, the given number is 153. We have to know. So here, yes, mistake is reverse equal to 
reverse into 10 okay plus reminder this is the mistake okay now observe can i go first to first i will explain please please observe first i will run it if it is works fine then i will explain one by one please oh not this one so here one minute huh? driver dot java Purish, we did not try to print an oh. oh sorry sorry compilation static. here static yeah static and then print statement also missing system dot out dot print ln uh, here we'll take it as reverse Suresh remain under the remainder reserve or reverse. Reverse. Okay. Clear. Now observe. Still reserve. Oh, variable mistake. Huh? One minute. No, remain under Is the remain. No. Remainder. In the wait, 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 please logic. wait. Please wait. Yeah, tell me. So now Java space driver 351 working. Yes, working. Yeah. Can I explain yes. now? Or explain not required. Hello? Explanation required or not required? Hello? Required. Yeah. First initially, please observe. N greater than zero, nothing but 153 greater than zero. Condition true or false? True. 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 Come here. Now your number is what? 153. Uh, divisible by 10. 10 15. 15. Remainder uh, 3. 150, right? So here, 3. This is considered as by this is considered as modulus now here in this case reverse equal to reverse into 10 initially what is the reverse zero zero into, zero into 10 zero zero plus what is the remainder three three, three. zero three. plus three G three any questions three. up to this no no now come here ah n equal to n by 10 by 10 nothing what is the next number 15 15 15 greater than zero? True. True. This loop continuously execute until unless n condition false. 15 greater than zero, condition true. Again, come here. Uh, again, divisible by 10. Uh, 10. 10 one ja. Remainder 5. Ten, uh, remainder 5. Now here, reverse equal to reverse. Previously, reverse value is 3, right? 3, three into 10? 30. 30. 30. 30 plus 5. 35. 35. 35. Any questions up to this? No. no. Now, come to next one. Next number. Next number is this one, right? One. One greater than zero? True. 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 So here, uh, 10 zeros. Uh, zero. What is the remainder? One. What is the remainder? One. One. Come to next line. Review value previously, 35. 35 into 10. 350, 350 plus reminder 1, 351. Any questions? 351. What is the next number? 0, 0 greater than 0? False. False. Condition false, terminated, and print 351. Clear? Everyone clear? No okay. clear. No clear, huh? Okay. Sir. Yeah. One minute. 
Java space driver. Yeah, 351. Can I go next to program? Hello? Yeah, Suresh. Yeah. Check. Number is uh, palindrome or not. Uh, yes. What the palindrome? So here your input is 151. Uh, and then reverse it. 151. One minute. Uh. Reverse it. 151. So here original number equal to equal to reverse of number. Both are same. That is called palindrome. Clear? Yes. yes. Any questions? No. Yeah. Super. Come here. Can I try to execute? So here observe once upon a time, n value get zero, right? Yes or no? Yeah. So that's why initially I will take one temporary variable and copy n value as well. Why? Because for comparison, already you have reverse is there and original number is here. So both are same. Please observe here. If original number equal to equal to reverse, both are same, then that is called palindrome. Else. not palindrome that's it yeah any questions go ahead and ask one by 153 reverse it 153 reverse it 351 uh, palindrome or not palindrome not palindrome okay 151 kasi are you able to understand this logic kasi yeah so any questions this one Pavani? So any explanation required? No, no. Yeah, these are the very important programs. Can I go next one? Yes. Yeah. yeah, next one. Sum of digits of given number. Huh. So what are the meaning of this one? What are the meaning of this one? Uh, if we can take 151. Suppose I will give, suppose I will give 153. Uh, sum of digits, nothing but sum of one digits. One plus five plus. One, one minute. Eh? Yeah. yeah, please sum of digits nothing but uh, one plus five, five plus, plus, five plus three. three. Uh, overall nine. Nine. Okay, so far. This is the program. Uh, suppose, oh sorry. So more guys, tomorrow can you attend? Tomorrow or Monday. We'll try to install Java software in your mission and try to start uh, implementing programs on Eclipse or STS, okay? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Number equal to 153. So now, any initialization point is required? Starting from where? One, two, three, like it's not required, right? Yeah, no. Sorry? Yeah, sir, it's no, sir. Not required. Yeah. So okay. just to sum up the is nothing but for positive number, you can identify the sum of digits or for negative number, positive number only, right? Yeah. Yes. That's why number greater than zero. So if condition is true, you enter into loop. So here I will take one sum variable to calculate individual digits sum, okay? Uh, how to get one by one digit? <clears throat> how to get one by one digit? Just now we'll see. Uh, Ah, reminder equal to yeah, number by modulus by 10, right? Yeah, we'll get one by one. Once it is available, add it. Sum plus reminder. Reminder. Clear? Clear. Yeah. So finally, we can print it. Sum dot out dot. Just dot out dot print ln. 
some some if you want i will explain please observe so first here 153 One fifty-three condition greater than zero. Condition true or false? True. 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 If condition is true, you enter into this line. Ha. Huh, reminder. How to get the reminder? One fifty-three divisible by ten. Ha. Ten. Ten fifteens. Ha. One fifty. Reminder so three. So here, reminder <laughs> three. So you will get the reminder as three in this case, right? So now sum initially sum zero, zero right? Zero, zero plus. Three. Zero plus reminder three. Three total three. three. Yeah, and then how to find out next number? What the next number? This is the next number, right? Next digit. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. N equal to n by ten. That's it. Now here, what the next digit? Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen greater than zero. True. True. Again, come here. Find out the. Ah. Huh. Ten one ja. Ten. Ah, uh, reminder is what? Five. Five. So come to next line. Previously some value. Three. Three plus five. Five. Eight. Any questions? Now what the next number? One. What by nothing but one. One right here. Whatever by nothing but here. This one considered as by. This one considered as divisible. Ah, uh, sorry. Reminder. One greater than zero. Condition true or false? True. Come here. Find out the reminder. Second line. Next line. Next line, ha. Huh. Ten zeros. Ten zeros zero. Ha. Huh. One. Remember one. What? One. One. Come here. Sum me previously sum eight. Eight plus one. Nine. Nine. Now what the next number? Next digit. Zero. Zero. Zero greater than zero. No. False. False. While loop get terminated. Print nine as output. Clear. Clear. So our target is you. You are able to write your own logic line by line. You are able to understand. That is our target. Okay. Yeah. Please observe. Oh, sorry. Yes. Nine. Any questions? No, Suresh. Can I go next program? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now check whether number is Armstrong, Armstrong, or not. First of all, what is the Armstrong? Suppose I will give one number. My number is one fifty three. What is the number? One fifty three. Ah, sum of cubes of given number. Sum of cubes of Given number equal to original number, then that is called. Ah, uh, both are equal. Original number and after getting sum of cubes individually, both are same. That is called Armstrong. Armstrong, Armstrong number. Else not Armstrong. Yeah, observe sum of cubes. One cube, one. one. Five cube, one. One twenty-five. Ah, uh, three cube, twenty-seven. Ah, uh, total. One fifty-three. Yeah, one fifty-three equal to one original number, right? Both are same. That is called Armstrong number. Clear? Yes. Yeah. Can I go and start implementing? Yeah. Any questions? No, no, Suresh. Yeah, I will go here. Now, please observe. Ha! Huh. Small changes required. Ha! Huh. So here sum also required, right? Yes. Ah, uh, I will take some variable as it is. Remainder also as it is. Ah, uh, this is also as it is. Only change is ah, uh, this is multiplied by how many times? Cube, right? Three times. That's it. Small change. So this logic, any explanation required? Up to this, any explanation required? Not required. So initially, you know, right? One point of time, n grade n comes to zero. That's why we will copy that n value into one temp variable. Okay. Now I will verify if if temp original number equal to equal to sum, then that is called. Ah. Huh? So um, now you are able. So now I am mixing if condition statements along with loops. Are you able to follow? Yeah. So here, 
that is called armstrong number armstrong armstrong number else not armstrong number any questions no suresh yeah that's it yes go ahead ask any questions guys any questions no no yeah can i go next number can i go next program yes yeah so here display factors of given number ha uh, what are the factors of given number suppose i will give uh, five factor five number suppose i will give your number is ha uh, input equal to 5 so you will find out the factors so in order to find out the factors start what is your number 5 right five. so five. starting from 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 in this 5 every number 5 is divisible by 1 or not 5 is divisible by 2 or not 5 is divisible by 3 or not 5 is divisible by 4 or not 5 is divisible by 5 or not like this okay find out the all factors clear program is clear you told yesterday this program suresh in the previous class oh, factorial factorial i explained okay. factorial is different factors is different no no you explain factors also two programs you told oh everyone clear ah huh? can i explain again or can i explain again this program not a question is okay super okay can i give i will give one task can you can you uh, provide solution for me yeah we yeah. will try suresh yeah check number is prime or not one i will give one number check prime or not so what the logic i will give suppose i will take 5 what are the factors ha huh. any number factors 1 comma number itself yes. that is called prime okay can you try this one and next one print prime numbers between 1 to 100 try this program as well yeah any questions up to this no can i go next one yes yeah. sir all of you yes sir so now i will go for do while so loops are three types while do while for so here buy one get two free buy one get two free now observe do while first i note down the syntax initialization ha huh. previously we will write while like this right while ha huh. condition yes or no yes and then business logic business logic and increment then increment or decrement increment or decrement right so here cut while condition instead of while put to do at the end braces end paste and end with semicolon okay clear so here observe very first time without verifying the condition control come to loop and execute the logic right yes or no yes yeah yeah second time onwards it will verify the condition so here first initialize the variable value and enter into loop enter into loop and execute business logic without without condition checking clear very first time without checking the condition enter into loop and execute the logic after this after this uh, second time onwards verify the condition right yes and condition is verified from second time onwards if condition is true if condition is true then loop get executed if condition is false then 
loop get terminated that's it any questions any no, questions Suresh. no Suresh. So same while loop only do a little bit changes that's it so i will give one program remaining can you do whatever programs we practice through while same program can you practice through do while hello uh, okay. yeah now print one to ten numbers ah so first print one to ten numbers so first print one to ten numbers using while ah what the initialization n is equal to 0 i equal so to here one. i equal to 1 right starting from 1 yes or no yes ah uh, and up to so here while this is the while right so first we will verify the condition right if condition is true you enter into loop yes system dot out dot print ln i i and then increment any questions no. No, no, any sorry. questions? No. no. So first we'll try to execute. Oh, one to ten. But my requirement is use do while. So here instead of while, uh, put do at the end. That's it. So here observe what the i value? One. 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 Directly enter into loop and print one value. And then increment by one. Two, two, right? Two less than equal second time onwards, it will verify condition. If condition is true, you enter into loop. If condition is false, terminate the loop. Any explanation required? No, no So a little bit confused compared to while, right? Okay. Yeah, super. So preferable in real time is for loop only. Don't use while or do while. Why? Because I will I will explain. Now, can I go next one? I don't know. Print uh, 10 to 1, 10 to 1 numbers. Can anyone? Uh, Decrement we will one. use. Yes, I don't know. So I will remove this one. Is equal 10. Yeah, super. So here, first, uh, first tell me by using while loop. Starting from where? Uh, is equal 10. Okay, and then? I greater than or equal to one. I greater than or equal to one. Okay, super. Huh. Now here, increment or decrement? Decrement. decrement. Super. System dot out dot print ln. Now I. here. I. I. I, I minus, minus, minus minus. Any questions? No. No, sir. Yeah. This is the while loop. Now you can use do while. Do. That's it. End with a semicolon. So your target is you are trying to understand this logic only. What is variable? What is operator? What are the operator types? What are the condition statements? What is the vari What are the loops? So line by line, we will inject into your minds. Yeah. Any questions? No, Suresh. Yeah, super. Now your question, hey, Suresh, what is the difference between what is the yeah. difference between while yeah. and do while? Yeah. Huh, can anyone? While loop starts with the uh, with the condition. First, we ah, check the condition. Yes, while is called as entry level checking. What is this entry level checking? Yes or no? Means condition is true, then only Execute. enter into loop. loop. Else, loop get terminated. Terminated, right? Yeah, super. Huh. Do while. Huh. Do while is called as exit level checking condition checking means at very first time very first time control enter into loop and execute logic without condition 
checking. Okay. So here from second time onwards, huh? Second time onwards. Condition will be checked. Validate the condition. If condition is true, then only enter into loop. Otherwise, terminate the loop. Huh? Any questions? No, sir. Yeah, super. So can you practice all the programs, whatever programs we practiced yeah. through while? Can you practice do, do while? Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, last loop, what is that? For loop. For loop. So you are only you are only person. Please tell me which loop is better, while or do while or for. Please let me know. Now, first I will write the syntax. Initialization. Uh, condition checking. So here three are in single place and then increment or decrement. Uh, every, every component, please observe here, every component separated by using semicolon. Okay. Uh, which is better? For, for is better. Why? All components are in one place, right? Yes. Mm, yeah. Maintenance is very easy. Yes or no? Which is yes. better? For. Yeah. First initialize the value. First, initialize the variable value and then and then check condition. Okay. If condition is true, then loop get executed. If condition is false, then loop get terminated. Any questions? No, sir. Yeah. So this is the for loop is recommended in the real time. Same, same requirement. I will give one or two examples. You can display as remaining. So here, huh? print one to 10 numbers. Yes. Huh. Three should be written in single statement for single. please observe huh. int i equal to one semicolon i, I less less, please mute i less than equal 10 i plus plus here you can write business logic system dot out dot print ln i i so here first initialize the value so initialize the value in i equal to one one less than 10 if condition is true enter into loop if condition is false terminate the loop any explanation required? No, Suresh. So already I intimated, right? Buy one, get two free. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions? No, Suresh. No. Now, display 10 to 1 numbers. Huh? 10 to 1 numbers. Yes. I don't know. Can anyone? Here we use decrement and take int i equals to 10. So starting from where? Int i equals to 10. Huh. 10, okay. I greater than or equal, to, equal one. to 1. Increment I or minus. decrement? Decrement. I minus. I minus minus. Super. System dot out dot print ln. I. I. That's it. So what are programs we practiced? By using while, same programs, please practice do while and for, okay? okay. That is your assignment. So tomorrow we'll discuss, tomorrow we'll discuss uh, infinity loops, why uh, infinite loops along with the break and continue keywords.